What's up everyone, welcome to Director Discovery and I am Nicholas Clayton Lee. In this video, I'm going to be telling you why I almost quit using Fujifilm cameras. Anyway, let's get into it. So what happened between me and Fuji is it all started off with the Fuji X-H2S which I got last July. It's still a brand new camera and it was working completely fine but after a few months of using it, I noticed that when I connect my mic onto this camera, uh, the mic doesn't turn on. The Rode mic that I'm using is the NTG mic and then it's supposed to, after plugging it in, when I turn on the camera, it's supposed to turn on as well but I noticed it didn't. I kind of left it alone because I could still turn it on and it would still work. But the good thing about it is that it automatically turns on so that I don't have to keep reminding myself, oh, I have to turn on the camera because sometimes you're maybe vlogging or doing something really quickly and you forget. That's the best thing about this. Anyway, I kind of left it alone for a bit and I thought, oh, it's okay. And then as time went on, I noticed even when it's connected, it's the audio is not getting it sometimes, so I have to play around with it. And I got to a point where I got kind of annoyed. And then in early June, I finally had time. I brought it in to Mississauga, the Fujifilm there. So I'm dealing with Fujifilm Canada, by the way. I brought it in purposely because I didn't want to ship it in. I know I still had one year warranty, so it was almost up. So I brought it in because I didn't want to ship it in because I'm afraid knowing the post office and like how bad the delivery system is that they might get lost, right? So I decided I'll just bring it in myself so that I can hand it into them. Anyway, after like two or three days, they sent me an email saying that, oh, we received your item. They gave me a number and that's it. They told me it might take two to four weeks. I was like, okay, fine. In a month, I think I'll still be fine because I still am using my X-T4. So I was waiting for my camera and then after like three weeks, I thought, hmm, maybe I should just check in if they fixed the problem yet or anything. And then I called them. And then lo and behold, some guy said they fixed some stuff. I don't even know what they fixed. And they actually already sent it back to me. Um, and it said that it was delivered. So I live in an apartment where it's an old apartment and there's like no cameras in the hallway and I have no security guards. So if they gonna leave the product, it's gonna just be at the door. And for some reason, Fuji thought that it's a good idea to not give the customer a tracking number and no email notification. <laughs> so they said that if I did not request for a tracking number, they wouldn't give it to me. They never gave me any idea that I had to. So I was in awe when I heard of this news. They said, oh, give me them a few days and they'll get back to me. But it was a Friday and they got back to me on like a Tuesday. So during those few days, I was already like really, really upset. And then <clears throat> they got back to me saying that Oh, it showed that it was delivered. It didn't say somebody has accepted the package because for some reason they also decided I don't need a signature to accept the package. So I was really confused um, at why they did it like this. I don't know. I complained of saying that I don't know any other companies right now in the world that would send a package over without giving you a tracking number or any notification saying that, oh, your item's fixed, it's on the way. And yeah, so I found out, like think about it, I found out, oh, they delivered the package a week before and I was like, I was home that day, 100% sure I was home that day because my friend was coming over to film something. I never got any notification, nobody banged on my door or anything. So we have like a, not security guard, like the landlord. Anyway, I told them to check the security tape and I don't even know if they delivered it because he said that he didn't see it. there was a delivery guy around that time. Anyway, so things just got worse as time went on just waiting and waiting. Fuji ends up calling me back on a Tuesday and they told me that, oh, it, it showed that it was delivered and if you still don't have it, uh, we can offer you a discount of 40% and you have to buy a new camera. And I was still in shock <laughs> and I told them, oh, no, I'm not paying any money. It's not my fault. 
for some reason you guys just decided to not like give us a tracking number and sign for the product. I think that's like a basic, very pretty minimum basic thing. And then he said he'll get back to his manager. He said that at first they couldn't do anything and then I decided I'm going to call the manager myself. So I went online to check out who the manager was on at Fuji Canada. And then on Fuji when you call them, there's a director, you just put their last name and their first name. So I just did that. I ended up calling the manager. She didn't pick up, left her a voice message and then I decided to call the vice president of sales as well. Left her a message. <laughs> and then next thing you know, like uh, the manager called me back saying, oh, we already heard your message. We also got your message from the guy that was dealing with me, which was, his name is Jay. Uh, but shout out to him because eventually it turned out better. Anyway, yeah, so the manager like kind of like told me, okay, we're gonna send you a new camera or a replacement camera. And I was a lot happier. They asked me, oh, do you want us to send it to you? I was like, no, I don't mind driving like half an hour just to pick up the camera again. It's just, I don't want to go through that whole situation again. So I was actually like initially very upset. And they also gave me one of these and also, an extra battery. So that's why I said shout out to Jay. At least they try to keep me in the Fuji system. Like I told him, I was like, I spent easily over $10,000 on Fuji stuff. Like you can see right here. It's just like, I was really upset that I never thought that kind of customer service would happen to such a big company. Uh, and then I was talking to my mom about it. She's like, shouldn't, they have like insurance. I was like, okay, that makes sense. But like, I can't understand because the way they dealt with this situation, it's more like they wanted to make sure I actually didn't lose it instead of like kind of, oh yeah, you actually received it and you just want another camera from us. Um, but I, in actual fact, like I didn't receive it. I understand it, but like if they honestly just like gave me a tracking number, delivered to the right address and also like got somebody to sign it, that would be, like, all of the situation would have been solved, right? So, honestly, I'm making this video not to say bad things about Fuji. I th I'm just trying to like, give advice, like, how to improve. Like, I think this is, like, a bare minimum of how to improve your customer service. I think it will be better. I told them, like, I want to get the Fuji X-H2 after as well, because regardless, I'm still a Fuji guy, and I don't want to spend so much money to start a whole ecosystem again. And yeah, I, I do like Fuji a lot. I'm still a big fan. Um, I was just really, really upset because I am first and foremost a Fuji fan. But I, like I said, I've never heard a company send out something that's $3,600. This camera after tax is like $3,600. And they don't even require you to sign for it. So I thought that was really weird and they don't give you a tracking number. I was like, I'm just trying to let them know that you can avoid all this, just do one extra step, that's all. Or two extra steps, and they're very, very basic. I like sending it out costs like a few more dollars for you, like, them to sign it. And you're sending out $3,600 items, so yeah. Anyway, all in all, it's just like, I think overall, the people are pretty nice, but it's just that the way they implement this thing is, has been really bad and I was, really really upset about it so i don't know i just thought of making this video at first i was thinking oh my god this stuff happened i'm gonna like write about it online and i decided to calm down i wrote the paragraph i calmed down and i've said i want to give them a chance because like i said i'm first and foremost a fan of fuji anyway i just wanted you guys to know um so if you guys experience with fuji at least canada make sure you guys request for a tracking number so that you don't go through this whole situation like I did. Anyway, hope you guys kind of like enjoyed this and gave you guys a heads up, but yeah. Thanks, and let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys next time. And if you'd like to follow me on my journey to discover more random products, places, and restaurants, then please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, and I'll see you guys next time.